No one dared to ask a question. No one dared to make a skip. The man, Desert Ranger, had a service rifle on his back. That's how it goes, right? What? Special stats are here. Pretty much it's a full build for using rifles. I'm going for guns, survival, and barter for the early game. Just so I can get a couple of extra things. I go for skilled. And I decided to take World Wasteland as my extra perk. I would indeed be asking the question. Can you beat Fallout New Vegas as the Desert Ranger? Now you may be asking yourself, what is a Desert Ranger if you don't know? Now, I... I'm unable, I am simply unable to explain the, the history of the Desert Rangers. But the reason I wanted to make this video is because I watched this video right here. I hope I'll put the I hope I put a picture up right there. Um, I'll also leave a link to it in the description below. And I thought it was really interesting. And yeah, I wanted to use the Desert Ranger armor. And it's about all the motivation I needed really. An excuse to use some good armor some weapons I haven't used for a long time. And yeah, what else do you need? I take all the stuff I got from the courier stash, head straight to the gun runners, head straight over to Mick and Ralph's, and I'm just trying to get enough caps together with the stuff I've gathered so far so I can make my way into the strip. Now, after I speak to Julie Farkas, I'm able to get just over 2,000 caps. Pass the credit check, and you're probably wondering, ah, he's going straight to gamble so he can buy all the stuff he needs. No, I am not going to the casino to gamble. I'm going to the casino to get some nice XP. So I can head straight up to Mr. House and I can hand in all the nice snow globes. Now the reason I need these snow globes is because I need just, just one weapon. Because to complete the Desert Ranger outfit, the Desert Ranger character, I'll have to do a little bit of fighting to get there. And what weapon sums up the, the ranger outfit? The, the man on the box more than the anti-material rifle. The ranger Sequoia probably, but the anti-material rifle is a close second. Making my way to Northern Passage, I speak to Jed Matheson as he is going to set us off on the Honest Hearts DLC. This is actually the second challenge I've ever done that pretty much begins with this DLC. The first one was the World War II, kind of be fought in the Vegas as a World War II soldier. So this is having a very similar start. I get the nice little introduction to Zion, watch this poor guy get his arm blown off, rob everything, and sit back and, you know, just take them out with the anti-material rifle. One of my favourite weapons in this game, such. I wish it came back for Fallout 4. I know you can buy it now in the Creations Club, but it's just something seems so dirty about the Creations Club. I mean, I, I would never make a video based on Creation Club items, would I? Would I? I arrive at the red gate, as this is where I'm going to pick up my second and last weapon for this playthrough. The survivalist rifle. Now I'd actually never used this before. I picked it up, but I never properly used it. And yeah, it's pretty much a service rifle. Um, I don't want to use service rifles in this game, because this one is special in the sense that, well, it looks different. It's got some writing on it scratched in. But it also uses a different ammo, which I didn't know. I didn't know it uses a different ammo. Usually most service rifles use 5.56. This does not. I say a thank you to the survivalists and make my way through to get to meet Joshua Graham. And yeah, I am just oh, having a blast, just burning through all the ammo. I've only got seven left, but don't worry. I'm going to get myself my armor and I'm going to head straight over and buy more. Don't you worry. I arrive at Stonebones Cave and for anyone out there who doesn't know about the Desert Ranger. Um, if you go in this cave it's got some booby traps but you know it's pretty easy to, to traverse around. Just um, Like I was saying it's pretty easy to traverse around all this. Disarm the traps. Just you know just be a bit more careful and uh, how could you forget about the plasma mine behind the bucket. I mean anyone could have saw that right. But to the task in hand, here's where you find the Desert Rainbow Armor. Now, if you don't know what that is, it is the NCR Veteran Ranger Armor as well. But it doesn't have a faction, which is really important and handy for this playthrough. Like When I wear this, although it looks exactly like the NCR Veteran Ranger, it doesn't make you associated with the NCR faction, which is handy when walking around the Mojave. 
Although it's based on the NCR veteran stuff, I mean, the desert look, the detail scratched into it, it's, it's a beautiful camel. I pass your nickname in high school, arrive at the Dead Horse camp, and meet with Joshua Graham. Uh, a fantastic character. What, what, what can we say about him that's not been said before? He's got beautiful hair. That's never been said. And I go to buy all the, um, all the 12.7 ammo that I'll ever, what, he didn't sell any? Making my way down the mountain, hopping down, hit the bus, and I'm home now. Do, 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 I get the compass, do, 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 I repair the compass, do, 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 make my way to the Zion Fishing Lodge, get walkie talkies, salute general store, do, 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 shoot the rat, do, 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 and now I've got the scout lunchbox, if I could walk to the ranger station Zion, then you know I would find the medical supply kit Cause you know I'd salvage the medical supply kit And tell Daniel the good news And then Joshua would read me scripture And then I'd go do 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 To Morning Glory Cave do 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 Kill the giant Santa do 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 and then I enter the cave and shoot the plant and do 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 I still got no ammo for the survivalist r r r r r foe. How did he survive that long with fucking 12 bullets? Don't worry guys, it, it's over. You, you survived. If you somehow made it past that point in the video, leave a comment and say I survived Brickmaker singing. Because... I don't think I'm going to survive that again if it happens. I'm currently wiping out the, the white legs. I know you can optionally take away the little totems, but eh, based on what I read from the survivalist stuff, which this isn't the play for all, but kind of inspired a lot of it. When I got his rifle, I was like, eh, I'll do, I'll do what the survivalist would do. And I think he'd probably just, you know, kill them all. The best system I've got for getting more ammo is to craft it, which is... It would have been fine, but you also can't buy casings for the 12.7. If I'd known this, I would have bought tons of ammo before I came. But I just, I didn't know. And that that be a lesson to all you kids out there. Failing to plan is planning to fail. And my high school teacher told me that lots of times. And yeah, I'm making YouTube videos now, so who's laughing now, Miss Collins? Probably not her, she's dead. Daniel could not be happier with our progress. We've done everything he's asked. And for that, I decide, I don't normally get to do this. I'm going to take Daniel's kind of path and do the escape Zion instead. Which, pretty much is the same as if you pick Joshua's side. But a slightly different diversion. This one gives you small side quests to save more of the sorrows. And, yeah, yeah, it's it's... Fun. It's probably the first time I've done this in possibly eight years. I usually just pick Joshua's because it's funner, and you know, I like the I like I like the idea that I you know take the war to them, me and the man with the mask, you know, the bandage man, the man with the white. I was gonna say white face there, but I, I, <laughs> I don't think that's very appropriate. So upon wounds is already attacking Daniel, so I decide I'll hang back and snipe him with the little bit left of ammo I've got for the anti-material rifle, which is enough to get me through the end. Daniel lost a lot of health, but he's more or less pretty ecstatic with what we've done. And with that, he hands me a detonator. I get to blow up the tunnel, completing on his hearts and completing this character build. I can now go back to the Mojave and get stuck into the main game. But not before... Joshua Graham uh, gives me all of his, all of him and his friends' clothes. I return back to that huge uh, battle and decide, what's the next right stage? The ghost town gunfight. That, that feels appropriate. Another stipulation I added at this point was no stim packs. Only, only food stuff or stuff I can make at a campfire. Similar to the, the Roman soldier video because, I mean, I'm already pretty overpowered. I also have to help any person. Ah! Oh, Jesus, Malcolm. Always sneaking up on people. 
Well, we know how this goes. Ah, I can't do it. As I was saying, the Desert Rangers in the video I watched, they were people that protected. Protected those who couldn't. And that's what the Desert Ranger has to do. Any mission that comes up that involves me having to protect a town, save a town, just like the, the Battle of Prim here. I I have to I have to do it. I have to protect the innocent. I have to protect those who can't protect themselves. So although I knew that Barton Form was an ass, I had to help him and get betrayed. I help the town of Prim. I go speak to Major Knight. And I'm going to give Prim into the hands of the NCR. Because... As you could probably tell, this will be an NCR playthrough. I make my way over to Nipton and get a bit of sniper practice in. And yeah, the anti-material rifle, if for raiders of this level, they, they can't handle it. And although Malcolm survived, Oliver Swanick will never live in my playthroughs. I decide to put the explosive rounds for Volpes and what is it they say in, in Halo? Is it quad? Quad. Am I cool with the kids again? Probably not. My sweet radical moves makes the super mutant butte just run into place. And once listening to Black Mountain Radio, again, as I said, he's got to protect those who can't. So Raul, you're coming with me. Stay close to my bosom. You'll be safe with me, mustache man. Tabitha gets, gets really mean about me saving Raul, so she unfortunately has to go the way of old Yeller. Um, repeatedly shot with a survivalist rifle. I complete the crazy, crazy, crazy quest and head over to Boulder City to to pay my respects to Private Kowalski. You know, we're both soldiers here, and head over to Lieutenant Monroe and pay my respects. I gotta. I, I know. I know how tough it can be. I've been on an assignment where it's, it's where it's a tough time, and I'd say to head into the town and deal with the cans. Now, although I'm a desert ranger, these guys still set me up to get shot in the face. So, unfortunately for Jessup, I mean, I thought about it. I thought, now, what do you do? No, 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 it's, um, it's time to talk. It's time to get down the brass tacks, you know, Jessup? It's time to talk about this. And I only, the only language I speak is death. <laughs> I'm vilified now. Well, damn, I'm 12 minutes in and I've only reached the dam. It seems pretty dirty, though. Does anyone have a Hoover? <laughs> I refuse Swang's offer to join Tommy Torino's stand-up comedy routine at the tops and go speak straight to Benny. Now, the survivalist ranger, I want to hear him out, you know. Who knows what his situation was? I mean, he still shot me in the head, but I do want to speak about this. But uh, he's, he's not playing ball, so Benny has to also go the way of old jailer. Shot multiple times with a survivalist rifle. Alero comes up and says all is forgiven for me blowing up six guys with one shot. I think he wants to steal the clip for his montage if you ask me. I decided to go speak to Ambassador Crocker at this point since I'm already on the strip and get the main quest started for the NCR. I go over to the boomers and well... Malcolm Holmes survived but George and Oliver Swanick didn't. I don't know why I shot George. Caps, I think it was for caps. I'm a survivalist, you know, I gotta I gotta make money somehow. I use what I learned in the field to treat a couple of these patients. Go speak to uh, to Loyal about solving the ant problem. Decide that instead of solving that ant problem because it takes forever, I'll just go listen to Pete. Listen to Pete's more important. Go talk to Jack and give him all the scrap that I've picked up. Uh, 50's not bad. I usually come here with 40, but you know, I must have I must have been a bit under. In an effort to just not do the ants, because I hate the ant quest, because the ants spawn in one by one. I decide for the first time in any playthrough, I mean, check the old videos, I repair the satellite array. I mean, thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Pearl can't believe how quickly I fix those solar panels and listen to those beats, and gives me a quest to go get the bomber. Now, I'll get to the bomber eventually, because it's on the way to do some of these other quests. And as an NCR... You know, not an NCR ranger, but a desert ranger that eventually joins the NCR. What better quest to do than to help all the ranger stations? Now that involves some new quests we haven't seen on the channel. It also involves speaking to Tech Sergeant Reyes, where I've got to run over this whole map just to tell them some codes. I hit the first ranger station, 
see some sweet mutton chops at Ranger Station Alpha. I mean, damn. And decide, well, I'm here. Well, I'm in the area. I'm not even in. I'm not even near the area. I don't know why my brain jumbles this up so much. I decide to go get the NCR supplies from the poor guys that you know got taken out on the way to Helios One. I swear, when I was playing, <coughs> when I was doing this playthrough, I'd, my brain just kept jumping from quest to quest. I think in an effort to complete these quests in the most efficient way, I do them in the least efficient way. But anyway, I speak to Doctor Richards. I'm waiting for Private Stone to walk in so I can catch him stealing medical supplies. Now I understand his plight. You know, it's a hard situation. There's a lot of uh, a lot of death and a lot of ill will around the camp. But sorry, you can't. Those supplies could have been used for men that were really hurt. So I got a hand in Private Stone to Doctor Richards. In the UK, Richard, a nickname for that, is Dick. So technically, his name is Doctor Dick. I just thought I'd share up with you if you weren't British. Major Pilates, no, not the thing my mum does on a Saturday morning, but the actual guy at this camp, lets me know that i got to help Dr. Richards one more time. And luckily this is the quest where all the equipment you need is just lying around the tent, so it just takes a minute to pick everything up. And, you know, start sawing off legs, sawing off hands, you know. Helping! I think that's the word, helping. I let Dr. Richards know that I've uh, finished playing with all his patients, and I have got Camp Fall on Hope, back to to full strength you know and I'm now able to s attack Nelson I think the whole time I could have just attacked Nelson without needing any support but again I gotta complete these quests to full as a desert ranger would and like a good desert ranger I uh, hang out on the ridge and just start picking off the recruits and all the legionaries with my anti-material rifle I mean they they really did stand no chance this this weapon especially at this stage not even at this stage, I've got 100 in guns. It is taking out most enemies with one shot. Unless I hit them in the big toe. I get in close quarters with a survivor's rifle. Yeah, going door to door. Taking them out in close quarters, you know. Hitting them with that 12.7 ammo. Which I've fixed that ammo situation with uh, old quartermaster Baron. Something like that. Untie all the prisoners from the crucifixes. Get vilified for the second time in a playthrough, so... Go me, and uh, and uh, go go take a swim in the Dead Sea. God, this guy stinks. Macaroni and pasta is ecstatic with that, and I end all of the camp full on hope quests. I decide again, while I'm in the area, I'll pop through Novak, get jumped by some Legion assassins, and. I left this extended clip in just to show you how powerful the survivor's rifle is. I mean, I've used survivor's rifles a lot in playthroughs. This one, it just hits so much harder. And even at this point, I haven't looked into it even more. I was just enjoying the weapon as I was using it. And yeah, it it cut through centurions like... But eh. But eh. I speak to Hey Arnold's best friend. Go have a conversation with Com Officer Green as I'm trying to get that quest done lickety split. I do though have to do the long trek all the way up to near Jacobstown to get to the last station. And I thought I'll quickly jump over to the Northern Passage as that's the closest spot I've got. And it's here where the Wild Wasteland perk, you know, has its first influence on this playthrough. Now, here's something you might not have known. If you take out the alien captain without instigating or aggravating any of the other aliens they don't attack you they're completely docile they just stand there and look at you can't talk to them you can't pickpocket them but if you just take out the alien captain without any sort of damage on them then they're they're pretty chill they just stand there um they've got big big eyes um don't don't worry about what i was looking at there um Trying to pickpocket, I promise. I'm just trying to pickpocket. I just want to see what's in those pockets. I can see something big in those pockets I want to have a look at. And finally, meet Com Officer Link. I decided before I head to Bitter Springs, I might as well get the, the bomber pulled up from the lake on my way. Oh, 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 she's a lady. I raised her from the lake. She's a lady. There's cats of doors over in the hangar. Boom, boom, boom. There's a cats of door. 
A lady in the lake, oh, has a door. I'm in a very singing mood today. I don't know why. Leave a comment what you think why. Why? Why? Captain Gills is uh, seeming a bit fishy. <coughs> I couldn't think of a pun for Com Officer Tilden. Until just then. <laughs> uh, uh. Lieutenant Markland says that I should get some uh, medical books for helping children with trauma. And there's no joke to be made there. You able to pick up both books from Blake at the Crimson Caravan? And because I can't just hand in a quest, I just can't. I have to go start the Hard Luck Blues quest to go help the NCR sharecroppers. I also decided to head over to Aerotech Office Park to help out the NCR guys here as well. And also meet Frank Wellers, who you might recognise his family later on in the video. You probably ran into him a hundred times, but yeah, that's the first time I've actually ever spoken to Frank. If you don't know, ask Frank. Get a few quests from Captain Parker, get a few quests from Bert Gunnarsson, who, I, again, my first time speaking to him. And speak to Keith, who's... Keith's a hell of a name. For a man in the red jumpsuit, it's a hell of a name. I also find your mum's nickname in college, the pump station terminal. Huh, there's also a warning here as well. There's also radiation here as well. Huh, also Golden Gecko, right hind leg crippled. Haha, <laughs> it's like your mum. Make my way into Vault 34 to find the source of the radiation and I accidentally set myself on fire. I meet with the Overseer and if you watched my last video you know that he can't come down from this terminal. Or uh, his little desk thing so I can just pretty much take my time shooting him and... Oh crap! I mean there's just, there's just no consistency with this game. If you knock him down with a pipe he just flies back up. You shoot him with a gun but for some reason, ugh. as Todd Howard said, it just works. I don't know, I want to see my elastic band back up. I enjoyed that in the last playthrough. If you didn't watch that, laying pipe. I get myself down in the basement, head over to the terminal, and it's here where you're met with the, the kind of dilemma. Do you save the four people, or do you pretty much save the crops? And to me... The crops will end up saving more lives. Plus, the Vault 34, like, Vault Dwellers aren't, like, particularly great people. I decided to finish off the couple side quests for Better Springs and take out the great can that's been hiding up here. Oscar Villa Velasco. Nothing, no jokes. Captain Gills, I uh, already made the jokes. Um, I let her know that I found the supplies, took out the guy, um, helped the camp, and that... This is the last thing they need except for extra trips, which I now need to head back and speak to all the other different NCR areas to get some extra trips. All I'll say is thank God for fast travel because going back around all these stations again, just to not even speak to the people I spoke to before, a different person, just, just to confuse you a little bit more than normal. Well, I'm at it though, I decided to hand in the final quest for uh, for Return to Sender and speak to Chief Hanlon. Now, if you watch my previous videos about how they get the range of Sequoia, you're able to get it from Chief Hanlon if you ask him to uh, delete himself at the end of the quest. However, I love Chris Christopherson's music too much and in this playthrough, he's allowed to live. Plus, I'm a ranger, I understand his his motivation. To get the troops from Camp Golf though, I gotta train up the the oddballs, the, the oddities, the um the job squad, uh, the misfits. Names misfits. I named every other wrestling faction. I had enough gun skill but not enough explosive skill, so I'm gonna have to hand in a couple quests quickly so I can get one more level up so I can get my explosive to the max level. Not max level, just I think forty five is is enough as I need. It's here where I decide. That the easiest way, and the most fitting way for the Desert Ranger, is just to wipe out the kicks. I mean, these people are attacking NCR citizens. They are, you know, they're anti-social. They're 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 degenerates. They're a bunch of degenerates with a guy in a suit, calling himself the king. So instead of doing that whole quest line, I decide just to wipe them out. I go over to Ambassador Crocker, hand them in, and I'm able to go speak to Colonel Moore and start off the Father Republic questline.
Still not hit the required level yet, so I thought might as well go and deal with the cans while I'm at it. And on the way, you know, got a bunch of fiends to fight, and I thought, yeah, a desert ranger would would take out the fiends, collect the bounties. So that's what I decided to do now. This was a bit more off the cuff, uh, a quest that I kind of forgot to do. And yeah, I'm going to go collect all the heads from Kukuk, head over to Violet, and yeah, get a nice neat critical on him without alerting any of the dogs. I mean, I, I didn't miss the first shot, I promise. I mean, I level up while I take her out, which is perfect. And I get the 43 explosives, I can use some some sort of books to, uh, to get myself up to 45, and I'm able to finish the Misfits quest. And with that, I'm able to head back to Sergeant McCready, and he is no longer being assy with me, like he was the first time I spoke to him, and he is able to send some troops right over to Bitter Springs. Because I was on my way to the cans anyway, I might as well continue on with the main storyline, and again, the cans in the eyes of the NCR are pretty unforgivable. They've been attacking caravans, you know, pretty much feeding all the fiends that have been attacking the NCR. So the most fitting end to them is to walk right into the longhouse and shoot so many explosive shots that the game starts to break. I mean, I thought my Steam Deck was going to blow up in my hands as I was playing it there. Uh, I take the smarter option, hit the door. Nice, look at that. Call of Duty montage worthy. And then, the, uh, that one not so much. <laughs> blow off my own leg in the process. But um, yeah, at this moment, I think I must have been watching YouTube shorts and I... Uh, an MLG video popped up, and I, that was it. It's time to do some no scopes, some uh, some quick scopes. Hand in my my bounties to Major Doherty, Doherty, Trotty, and with that, Colonel James here is no doesn't require me to do the quest line for Cat McCarran and find the the spy. As far as I'm concerned, I didn't hear it. I didn't even hear about it, and uh, he's willing to send those troops over to Bitter Springs, just with the the free card bounty and the NCR reputation to be enough. Captain Gills is not that appreciative, I must admit. I thought there would be something... You get a reward, I don't take it, I know it's not great. But, still, it's... I did a lot of work and I didn't get much for that. No time to bitch and moan, I'm going to head over to St. James. And, yeah, there's... I don't want to make too many jokes about this. Dermot's Ledger tells a story of... These are probably the two worst characters in this game. Like, there's a lot of characters in New Vegas where you can see their charm. There's no charm to these two. They're they're disgusting men, and there's no way I was handing them into the NCR. They were they were gonna get some wasteland justice. With that final loose end, I'm able to head back over to Captain Parker and yeah, hand it all in. Tell him about the evidence I got from Keith. Tell him about the, you know, the situation with St. James, all the people that were getting sold. And as soon as he walks over, I'm able to watch him speak with Keith. It gets pretty personal. I mean, <laughs> that's a crazy thing Keith said right there uh, about his wife leaving him. But that is the NCR final quest line in terms of side quests, you know, tied up. I'm able to steamroll the main quest for a little while now and deal with the Omeras. Now, this being a casino on the strip and the NCR wanting to keep good relations on the strip, keep it in good shape, I thought it'd be a time for a bit of investigation and to do this quest line properly. Help out Kachino, even though he is a piece of shit as well. And what I wanted to do was a quest that I had read about, a way to complete this, was to get Clandon's journal and hand it into the NCR and get the NCR to arrest him. That felt the most Desert Ranger to me most NCR to me but upon further inspection and for some reason not being able to do it I read online that it is glitched it just for some reason it doesn't trigger to script error or something I didn't feel like modding it or changing anything so I decided to let him go but really he got arrested by the NCR Big Sal and Nero are not happy about it so I decided to take away the temptation and uh, pickpocket all the ammo off of them so if this, if this conversation goes south, I just want us to use our words. That's my, I want us to use our words. I did say it's time to die, but I ain't got a gun. Kachino's got a gun. Kachino's killed Big Sal. Kachino's gonna kill Nero. 
I had nothing to do that. My hands are clean of that. Completely clean. But what my hands are not clean of is heading straight over to Mr. House right afterwards after destabilizing one of his casinos and deciding it's it's time to go. MLG brain's still there and I get a nice jump shot explosive kill on him. Now I'm feeling myself at this point. I mean, I took out the hardest enemy in the game, Mr. House. So I'm feeling right now, I can take on the Brotherhood, no problem. And I know you can complete the quest with the Brotherhood siding with the NCR at the end of the game, but we know what happened to future fallouts. This is a pretty big threat to the NCR. So, I think it's only appropriate that the Ranger would do. It's what the Ranger does. And takes him out and, oh, I was feeling it, man. The Modern Warfare 2 days, I was feeling it. Intervention, quick scope, well, more of, more of a bar at 50 cal, but I'm feeling these quick scopes. I'm just, I just, I, I, I want some music playing right now. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Oh, oh, na 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 my home will never die. Na 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 cause my home will never die. Cause my home will never don In my notes, I have insert MLG music. But with how this how this recordings went. I've been feeling too musically, and correct me if I'm wrong, leave a comment down below. That's the closest you're ever going to get to the actual playing of that song without playing the song. I mean, that was pretty much pitch perfect. I mean, I was in Glee, and Hairspray, and Hairbrush. Um, I was an extra. <clears throat> I then decided to go over to Conrad Cove and get a bit of sniper practice in. And I mean, look at all that, look at them all grouped up. I mean, that is just perfect, isn't it? I mean, what else could you want? It's here that I actually remembered I did have another loose end. The, the Wellers family. I just completely slipped my mind up until this point. I did not come here for them. But by God, I will leave with them. If it's the last thing I do, Mrs. Wellers. I mean, I've got the key from Canyon Runner. But... Why not? Why don't I just deactivate it with my explosive collar? Why not? Because that's how you show off. Frank is uh, an asshole. And I'm not telling him where his uh, family is. He can go go do it. Do himself. And I go back to report to Colonel Moore and let her know of all the good work I've been doing. It's here where I get to go protect the president. Which, as a desert ranger, yeah, yeah, it's a pretty important task. No... No funny business with this one. I see the vertebrae entering in and I decide I'm going to get right into my perch because although the Legion can actually complete this quest a couple different ways, it's very rare they ever go for anything other than sniper engineer. I mean, I've seen a few gameplays where they blow up the vertebrae or leave a bomb on it, but it's. I think it's very rare. I think there's a very small chance of it ever happening. So, like I said, Engineer, Sniper. The Engineer never gets past the first Ranger Guard in Kimball's. I, I said it in my last video, Kimball is lightning quick on his feet. He is out of there. And as you can see, President Kimball is flying off. It would be funny if it blew up right now, though. That would be quite slapstick. But, fortunately, it does not. And he escapes with his... And, uh, you okay, Quartermaster? Um, hmm. No, I need ammo. God damn it, I, I need ammo. Get off your chair. Come down here, sell me bullets. I need bullets. The colonel congratulates me on a job well done protecting the president. I mean, just a random mailman. All these other people couldn't do it, just me. All, all I do is deliver mail. And I'm, I'm protecting the dam at this point. I mean... Beaver. I mean, damn, damn it! The fight for the dam is uh, as normal as ever. I mean, actually, they were pretty close to the door. There was no NCR protecting this door at all. I, I don't know. Maybe I did something wrong, and there's less soldiers in the dam to help. But it goes as normal as it always does. This is the end game now. We're in the end game, and 
anti-material rifle, service rifle with 12.7 survivalist. It's it's not a matter of how or if. It's just a matter of when. When am I going to get the leg it? I try and do as much sniping as possible to keep it, to keep it in line with the character. And the Centurions, you know, they actually take pretty good hit. Um, it's kind of warning me for the leg it later. It's not going to be as easy as most of the fights are. It's going to probably take a good couple shots. I get to the gate again. I'm I'm taking out people before they even spawning at this point. That is how good the explosive anti-material rifle is. The Praetorian guard. I mean, he goes down to one shot, but you know he's not wearing a helmet. And uh, but these, this, look at this other Praetorian. I mean, he didn't take any damage from that. I mean, ha. <sighs> The, the 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 legion weapons and the legion armor is pretty strong and i know this is going to be a tough fight so i'm going to make sure i get a, a stealth critical shot on them before the fight starts you know i really i know i'm going to be in for a really long arduous um oh that was one shot uh the Praetorians didn't even move i mean i've shot them and they still haven't moved that's them gone. There's one veterinary legionary walking around. Veteran? Veterinarian? <laughs> what am I talking about? And the fight's done. That is the easiest fight that is, I've ever had. One shot. One shot! Man, that's all it takes. Proving that, yes indeed, you can beat Fallout New Vegas as the Desert Ranger. I mean, in terms of commentary over a video that might be the most rambly and incoherent that I've ever done but it's a new style that I want to try it's more more of my personality less just describing what's happening because most of you can see and know what's happening so I just I want to bring more of just my kind of mindset at the time of these recordings really because it's been a, a long week at work and when I'm doing these audio recordings I'm pretty tired so instead of like slapping myself and being like right right get in the mood for this I'm just I'm just kind of letting it go you guys let me know what you think of it it's for me it's been fun also I'm watching the fallout tv show and um, I'm not sure when this video will come out but uh, uh, the Fallout TV show came out today. I'm already three episodes in. Um, I was thinking about making a video on the first three episodes. But I just thought there's already eight out. By the time it's done, everyone will see all eight. So I'm just going to watch all eight and then make a video. I'm not really going to rush it out. God, I think the outro was even rambly. I'm, really, I'm sorry, guys. If you guys got this far in the video, leave the comment. Uh, dog just write the word dog <laughs> if you write dog I know you're my dog and can I pet that dog oh god anyway guys thank you like and subscribe follow me on twitter peace